Hello everyone, welcome to our video lecture series on HiSys and Unisim simulations. These lectures have been organized by www.unitoperations.com and today we are going to discuss a case study which is mainly a distillation problem using, uh, you can use either HiSys or Unisim, both are approximately almost uh, very much very much similar. So, if you know any one of these, you would be able to use the other one and uh, my name is Shekhar Bhattacharji. So, let us go directly into our problem statement. Okay. In this problem statement, we see we need to separate a mixture of 5 paraffins into light and heavy fractions by using multi-stage distillation column with 12 ideal trees. So, this distillation column has 12 ideal trees uh, and a total reflux condenser. This is my total reflux condenser here. Um, and the reboiler, uh, which is the reboiler, is right here. And this is the reboiler. Uh, the feed stream is 1000 pound mole per hour. So, here this is uh, so this is not 1 kilo mole, so this is 1000 uh, pound mole per hour. So, that is a flow rate. So, we will be you know, uh, using in English units. So, in this particular example here, uh, in this case study, we will be showing how to use the English units in either HiSys or Unisim. So, the feed stream as you can see is 1000 pound mole per hour consisting of 3 mole percent ethane and uh, 20 mole percent propane and 37 percent normal butane and 35 percent normal pentane. So, that is a feed composition and 5 percent hexane. So, that is my feed composition here. Uh, the feed conditions are 225 degrees Fahrenheit and 250 PSIA, which enters the column at the seventh tray. So, this is entering at the seventh tray. So, that is uh, we will see whether that is correct or not. Um, uh, starting from the top. So, the counting is done from the top. So, this would be 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, that is the way it goes. Uh, the condenser and the reboiler pressures are 248. So, this condenser pressure is 248 and this reboiler pressure is 252. So, there is a difference of 4 psi between the two. The preliminary design specification requires a reflux ratio of 6. So, we would be using a reflux ratio of 6 and a distillate product of 226. So, this distillate product that will be coming out, uh, we do not know what the composition would be, would be 226 pound mole per hour. So, we have to simulate this distillation column here. Okay. Uh, Let us go here and you see uh, we have to use the SRK property package. So, so a really quang, uh, uh, property package. So, we go here. First, uh, the, so, we click on this fluid package and we say add and we go all the way down and we go to the SRK fluid package here. Then we go into the view components and then we have propane, uh, uh, ethane, propane, normal butane, normal pentane and normal, uh, normal hexane. So, these are the components which are present in um, this feed mixture. The components as you can see are ethane, propane, normal butane, normal pentane, and normal hexane. So, we have done that. We will put the conditions later on. So, let us go back here. So, now we can directly enter the simulation because as I said, we have chosen the fluid package which is SRK and we have chosen the number of components 5. So, we have chosen this component. So, let us go directly into the simulation environment. In the simulation environment, as we have seen, we just draw the distillation column here. Values. So, here uh, let us put this as my feed. Uh, let us write that as my feed and uh, let us uh, here, uh, this is the total condenser. So, we write that as a distillate and we write this one as the bottom product and uh, then we write down this is the Q reboiler that is the reboiler heat duty and this is my Q condenser, that is a condenser duty. So, once that is done, uh, then we come as, so this has been all defined here. So, as you can see, this is a total condenser. So, we go for and the stage number will be right from the top. Uh, next, we go for the next here and now we have to put the pressure and uh, if you remember, the pressures are uh, 248 uh, and 252 PSI and the condenser and the reboiler. So, we go here, we put here 248 uh, and we put here two, 248 PSI A. So, that has to be 248 
psia here and you have to put here 252 uh, psia here in fact uh, you could change the units right up front so we will show you how to do that uh, so these are showing kilopascals but we will change the units to uh, english units little later uh, so we go for the next here the condenser and the reboiler temperatures are optional so we will not bother about it so we just go for next and liquid rate uh, if you can see here in the problem statement it says the distillate product rate is 226 pound mole per hour so we put here we go here 226 226 this is kilo mole. In fact, if you would have changed the uh, unit uh, right up front, then uh, it would have come the default would have come as pound mole per hour. But let us do that. So, here it is pound mole per hour, and uh, reflux ratio, if you remember, here is uh, 6. So, we put here reflux ratio as 6. So, that is all the, the data have been input uh, um, yeah, given in this. Uh, uh, distillation column. So, we click right here as you can see th this uh, is, is a light blue and these streams have been defined. So, before we go any further let us change the unit here. So, we go to the preferences so we go to the variables and we choose field and that will be for the English unit. So, you will see all the units right now in English units and we just cross it out. Okay. So, let us double click on this one again. All right. Uh, now, uh, what we need to do is, as you can see, the number of stages here. The number of stages is twelve ideal trays here. Ideal trays. We could put the efficiencies if it is required to. So we put here twelve. Uh, that's the twelve number of ideal trays. And uh, also, if you can see that uh, which enters the column, the seventh tray starting from the top. So we go here and we put here seventh tray. Uh, the default should have been 6, but uh, according to the problem, this is 7 tray and we will see if that really matches the approximate composition of that particular tray or not according to the feed composition. So, these have been defined. So, now let us go to uh, the worksheet here. In the worksheet, we put the compositions and we have seen the compositions are already given 3 mole per cent ethane, 20 mole per cent propane, 37 percent normal butane and 35 percent normal pentane and 5 percent uh, normal hexane. So, we just go in and put in these values. Um, ethane is uh, 0 0.03, 0 0.03 uh, and uh, propane is uh, uh, 0.20 and uh, uh, normal butane is 0 0.37 and uh, normal pentane is 0 0.35 and uh, uh, a normal hexane is 0 0.05 and if you put that we will check if this is 1.0 or not. So, the total mole fraction is equal to 1. So, that has been done correctly. So, the feed composition has been entered correctly. So, let us now go and put the feed uh, conditions here. Uh, the feed conditions are 225 degrees Fahrenheit and 250 PSIA. So, you can see that these have all come in English units. So, I uh, will go here and put here 225 degrees Fahrenheit and we put here that is a feed temperature and the, and the, and the pressure is 250 PSIA and the pressure. So, that is what it is and we can put the uh, molar flow rate is equal to 1000 pound mole per hour. So, that really comes as a default since we have changed into the field unit which is basically the English unit. So, as you can the feed conditions have been properly defined. So, if that is so all the data have been uh, given and let us come here you see that all the all the data uh, have been so this fit uh, has been properly defined that has that is why it has turned deep blue. So, let us go directly into the simulation here. So, what you go you forgot the design and you just say run. Uh, no, uh, the warning column feed stream feed uh, is is entering the tower just below the stage pressure, so the pressure is not matching. But okay, we will uh, ignore that, and you said this is the problem has converged. So basically, this feed pressure which is coming in is does not really match with the exact pressure profile of what we have described here. That is 248 and 252 psia at the condenser and the bottom. But anyway, we ignore that. So basically, that's what it does. So um, it has 
has uh, already uh, calculated and 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 the simulation has converged let's see what are the compositions here so these are my distillate composition which is already given here and uh, uh, and this is my bottom composition here so as you can see that the, the light fractions are uh, light fractions are very little in in, in the bottom fractions uh, and 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 uh, uh, and, the, uh, and the light hydrocarbons are uh, are are mostly uh, are predominantly present in the distillate composition if you want to see the flow rates the flow rates as you see that out of 1000 pound mole per hour 774 pound mole would be in the bottom and 226 pound mole in the distillate and then of course you can go for all the parameters here so uh, we will try to describe and the profiles and everything uh, so we'll try to discuss that in our uh, future videos okay um, so with that let's go to our next problem uh, in the next problem it says that um, um, here uh, so I have in my manual uh, I've given all the details here how, uh, of the simulation details uh, in the problem two we say subsequent for problem one the design is modified such that instead of the preliminary design specification requiring a reflux ratio of six and distillate product of 226 pound per hour pound mole per hour which we have given in problem number one we don't want that we are modifying and now we say the design is modified so the design should be modified to ensure a propane overhead recovery of one ninth so we are saying one particular component here uh, 191 pound mole per hour and butane uh, recovery of 360 pound mole per hour so what really does it mean it means that uh, if you go down the uh, uh, let's go to the distillation column here so here again uh, if you can see all the conditions here the feed conditions the feed composition and uh, this of course is not this one this is 1000 pound mole per hour uh, so that's my flow rate otherwise all the fit conditions and fit compositions remain the same this is at the 7 tree total number 12 trees exactly as the problem number one and the pressure uh, of the condenser and the deboiler remain the same reflux ratio uh, instead of reflux ratio is, is not uh, the specification does not remain anymore and if you remember that this we remain we mentioned the distilled product rate that is not valid anymore what we say in the distillate the propane should be coming out at 191 pound per hour of course all the other components should be there similarly in the butane we want uh, in the bottom the butane should be coming out at that particular composition here so what will be the uh, conditions and how, what will be the condition and how can you simulate this entire component so uh, entire simulation uh, uh, distillation column so we will show you how to do that so here we are doing a component recovery we are uh, mentioning the component flow rate in the distillate and the bottom so let's see how we do that so let's go back to the same distillation column uh, what we have just now simulated here and uh, here what you're going to do you click on uh, this distillation column and you click on this design and then you go to the specs into the specs now you see this reflux ratio is uh, is active and if you want to see you can see the value here that is six okay uh, we want do not want it anymore so we will make it inactive uh, this rate uh, rate was active in the previous one if you can see the value that was 226 pound mole per hour we don't want that so we make it inactive and of course the other two reflux rate was inactive and bottoms product rate was inactive okay so what we'd like to do we like to add uh, what we are here you can see that column component flow column component flow so this one we'd like to add as a specification so we go here and this column component flow in the stream uh, yeah, which particular stream here we want of course in the distillate uh, if you can just go here and see this one in the distillate it should be the propane in the distillate propane should be coming out at 191 pound mole per hour so that's what we want to do so it should be a molar flow rate basis and the component should be propane here the propane and uh, if you remember what we said this is 191 pound mole per hour so we go here and we put the value that should be 191 pound mole per hour so that's where we, we have defined this particular requirement so this is a component flow and this it should be in the distillate molar flow to be the basis and propane should be coming on at coming out at 191 pound mole per hour so that's 
done okay next of course we want to add one more and that would be another again column component flow and we and say add specification here one or more specifications will ignore that right now and uh, what is this one this one is at the bottom the butane should be coming out at 365 pound mole per hour so if you would like to do that you go here and you say draw would be here bottom of the column and uh, okay uh, and this is the molar flow rate basis and this component would be butane so this is normal butane okay and this should be 365 365 pound mole per hour okay so if that is so so let's cross it out okay now you would like to make this component flow as active which is right here another component flow too this one is active and this of course are the two which you have right now defined this is 365 uh, for the butane and this is if you want to view this is 191 for the propane in the top and the others of course remain inactive here so that's how we do it and as I mentioned before that the degrees of freedom is 2 so you have defined that so once you define that so let's go for the reset and then you say run and automatically you see this has converged so let us go into see in the worksheet here and in the worksheet you can see this is again 1000 and, and, and 774 pound mole per hour would be your mm, uh, uh, bottom for flow rate and distillate product will be 225 pound mole per hour and if you like to see the compositions here and you can click on this composition here so this would be my uh, compositions uh, coming out so this is my distillate and, and and this is my bottom product so if you take the flow rate and multiply it by this small fraction so of course you'll get the values of the uh, propane and butane that would be coming out and as usual uh, you can go to the parameters and we'll go show you how to get the design parameters in our later uh, video lectures so that's how you do it uh, you simulate a distillation column using your high or unison see you in our next video lecture